two one. That is hammered into left back at the wall. It's gone and the Angels lead it. All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Angel in the Outfield. I know it's been about, what is it, like a week, a week and a couple days since we last uploaded this series. My apologies for that. Just been a very, very busy week. Had my sponsor tournament. The holiday weekend came up. There was a bunch of new stuff I had to figure out. So uh, just didn't want to half-ass an episode. So sorry it's been a little bit, but we're ready to get back on the track. So in the last video, we ended with three upgrades to the squad. And we needed three position players. We still need some bullpen guys and some starting rotation guys of course but we wanted to fill out our starting lineup completely to bronze so let's go take a look at who we picked up so the first dude we got is Chris Iannetta from the Colorado Rockies some people suggested this guy in the comments because he's actually not a bad bronze hitter 62 70 power 88 discipline he's also got 65 75 on the arm so he's not the worst defender in the world this guy used to be a lot better but Chris Iannetta dude he might be he might have some some good stuff for us plus he's playing plus 18 against righties on the day so right now Ionetta is going to be our bronze catcher at the moment so the guy we are picking up at third base or actually like re-picking up is Matt Davidson from the Chicago White Sox he uh, did get he was on the team then he got taken off the team because of the downgrades and stuff like that but uh, you guys wanted to see Matt Davidson back again so Davidson is back on the squad 86 76 power 58 arm strength not gonna be looking for him to do too much over there on defense we just want him to be able to hit some bombs for us in the middle of the lineup and last but not least an interesting card that you guys suggested for the team is Brandon Crawford the rookie Brandon Crawford from the Giants uh, for shortstop now of course Brandon Crawford great Great fielding, 81 arm strength, 80 fielding, 76 reaction. He's going to be very good over there. The hitting is a little bit iffy, you know, 43-41 against righties. And he's a flashback card, so he never is going to get any inside edge. I, eh, you know, it's not the best card in the world, but as long as he can prevent runs from scoring and he can do well, well for us on defense, I'll be happy with this guy. Uh, but he's definitely going to bat near the bottom of the order. So this is the look at the squad. The starting nine is complete. We do need to get our starting rotation. We need to add five more starting rotation bronze cards and then five more bullpen bronze cards before we can start moving into the silver upgrades. So hopefully we can get some runs. Hopefully we can do some good stuff in this next game. Rank season's almost over, so we'll see how I get matched up here but should be a good ride and also by the way in case you guys didn't know I feel like I should show you guys this this is the first video of the series where Mike Trout got upgraded he was at a 93 of course now from the last roster update he went up to a 94 he's on pace to have his best season of his career and with how good we know Mike Trout is that's pretty crazy so Mike Trout got upgraded so his stats are a little bit better he got better speed at 84 speed so hopefully that'll be easier to steal some bases also guys I want to highlight a comment in the last video from Alex Wittenauer he said I think a win of any sort should take away a downgrade if Trout has a rough game and the rest of the team picks him up then the team shouldn't be penalized for it and I was thinking about this and I was kind of deciding how I wanted to approach this and honestly I really do like this idea. I think the fact that this is Mike Trout building a team around him and the fact that he might not perform well but the rest of the team does and they can pick him up, I like this idea. So from now on, if Mike Trout has downgrades, like personal downgrades, like hit list, strikeout, caught stealing, whatever they are, and the team picks him up and wins, I think we're just going to erase Trout's downgrades for the game and we're just going to focus on the rest of them. So only if they win. If we lose, we still get Trout's downgrades plus anything else that happened in the game. So that's what we're going to do now. If Mike Trout has a bad game but the, uh, the team actually wins, Trout's downgrades are erased. All right, here we go, guys. We're taking on Mexico Sonora. We got Carson Fulmer on the hill and we are taking on Shohei Otani. This should be a good game. Shohei Otani versus the Angel in the Outfield Squad. Sit back, relax, and enjoy, boys. Also, just want to clarify something. I saw some questions on this in the last video. We took away the um, upgrade for every run scored because now that we're at a full bronze team, uh, I don't really need to use that anymore. The only reason I really did that was because I needed to do that for the common part because the common part was just way too difficult so no longer every run scored gives me a an upgrade that was taken away a couple videos ago so just for full clarification on that there you go ah it's gonna fall damn all right Trey Turner lead off base hit in the first inning not too good right there he's got speed on the bags now he's running first pitch I gave him a curveball I should have known he was running first pitch I thought maybe he might go second or third pitch 
But with that speed and a player like this, he's definitely going first pitch all the way. He might even be stealing third right here. Ooh. All right, he's not stealing third, but Colby Rasmus has a decent arm out here. Let's see if we can get him. Why did he not get behind that ball? Dude, you guys saw that, right? I was clearly on that blue line. I don't know why it didn't give me that right there. It got to third. Nelson Cruz. All right, Colby, you going to do this one? There you go. Good catch. Yeah, run on that. Run on that. Colby Rasmus hoses Trey Turner. Sit down, man. No shot. That's what I wanted to happen when he was trying to go second to third. First batter of the game for me, Ryan Schimpf. Let's go. It's through the shift. It's rolling to the track, cut off right in front of the wall, and we already have a leadoff double, which means Mike Trout steps up in his first appearance of the day with a man in scoring position. Let's see what Mike Trout can do right here. Let's see if he can drive him in. Mike Trout, oh my god, that ball was right down the middle. I guess I was just a little bit late on it. He's got JD out there in right field. Uh, I might be out. No, all right. Well, at least he got him to third. It doesn't count as a hit for Trout, but damn, I just missed that one. Chris Carter, come on, come on. I think that's gone, baby. I think that's gone. Chris Carter over the right field wall. He will not let us go scoreless in the first inning, and we have a 2-0 to zero lead. Chris Carter does the job. The angel in the outfield squad steps up, and we're looking good. Okay. <laughs> Gave him a change up here in the top of the third, and uh, I didn't hit my spot very well, and that ball was absolutely destroyed by Mike Moustakis. So there we go. That's how he gets the first run of his uh, of his day. And we got Trey Turner swinging. All right, so we did give up a run, that home run to uh, Mike Moustakis, but it's all good. Going into the top of the or the bottom of the third now, Mike Trout is due up second. So hopefully Schimpf can get on base again. Oh, was I underneath that? I gotta see this PCI. I gotta see this one. Okay, I guess I was a little bit underneath it. Fair enough, fair enough. Come on, Trout. Get on base right here. Can't have you go hitless and get us a downgrade. Oh, come on. Stretch, stretch, stretch. No, God. I don't know what it is, guys. I cannot hit with Mike Trout and Angel in the outfield. I can hit with every other card in this series, every bronze, every common. I can hit with Mike Trout. I do terrible in this series, and I don't. I don't have an answer to it. I don't know why. I just. I suck with Mike Trout and Angel in the outfield. It's kind of crazy. He's my best card. But this 2-1 lead, like, yeah, it's nice to have the lead right now, but he's got some good bats on his lineup, and we saw what he could do with Mike Moustakis. Like, imagine what he could do with a guy like Joey Gallo. Like that. That's a really good swing. I don't think Schwarber's going to get it. Yeah, see? The 2-1 lead, like I said, is nice, but it's not enough. It's not enough. We've got to get some more runs. There we go. That's a pop-up we're looking for. Go to third. I dare you. I dare you. Go to third base. Is he actually going to try it? Okay, he just faked it. I was about to say, man, this guy's got some balls. There we go. Davidson, you could just put the tag on him. But we'll throw it to first and get the out. Dude, Carson Fulmer, that was probably his last inning. He did very well for me today. Here we go. Bottom of the sixth inning. Mike Trout is 0 for 2. I need him to get a hit right here because let's just say for sake of argument, sake of argument that this game finishes off with a 2-1 to one score and I don't get a hit with Mike Trout, that would literally put me at, like, just even. Like, this whole game would have been a waste. So, I really got to try to do something here with Trout. Even if it's a downgrade, give me something. That's a strikeout. Once again, I suck with Mike Trout. So, that's a downgrade. No, I missed the throw. Please, Brandon Crawford, bail me out. How do I miss a throw with Brandon Crawford, dude? I am terrible today. Like, seriously, this is like one of the worst games I've played in a long time. Like, this is really bad for me. And I have nobody to blame but myself. It's not the game's fault. It's not like, it's just me. I'm, I'm trash right now. He brought in Billy Hamilton to pinch run, so you know. Oh, we got him picked up. <laughs> that was way too easy, dude. <laughs> so much for, for Billy Hamilton. Dude, tell me that wasn't the easiest pick off of of ever <laughs> bottom of the eighth top of the order Mike Trout will get an at bat so as long as Mike Trout can get a hit that will be good that will be good 
because Ryan Schimpf is getting his second hit of the game. He's able to get on for Mike Trout. Let's see what Trouty can do right here, man. You're 0 for 3 with a strikeout. Put something big on the board. Put a home run on the board. 3-0, a walk does not help me right here. Why does that always happen? Why is there always a walk or something, man? Oh, come on, Schwarber. You can give us five runs, which would be an upgrade. He's finally taken out Otani to go to Nishek. Yeah, everybody has Nishek on their team now. And you went with a slide step? What are you doing? I'm not going to go right here because this is going to be bases loaded. Nobody out for Chris Carter. So here we go, boys. Let's see if we can put some more runs on the board right here and get to five. Chris Carter. The Grand Slam. And he quit. That was amazing. Oh, my God. Chris Carter just went off. Let's go, dude. He, why would you slide step with Pat Neshek? What are you doing? I don't get it. I don't. All right. Well, here is the look at the box score. At the top, it does say 2-1, to one, but that's because he quit out in the middle of Chris Carter's home run. So it would have been 2-1. to one. So that means it would have been 6-1. to one. So that was five runs, So which is one upgrade point, and a win, which is two upgrade points. And remember, if we win the game, all of Trout's downgrades are erased. So the hitless and the strikeout, they go away. So two upgrades on the day. So really the only upgrades I can do are in the starting rotation and the bullpen right now. The two bronzes I have in the bullpen are Boone Logan and Jake Diekman. So if you guys have some bronze starting pitchers you want me to pick up or bronze bullpen guys you want me to pick up, that is where we're going to be making our upgrades in this episode. Because the starting rotation, or I'm sorry, the starting nine is already full. So anyway guys, let me know what you thought about this video down in the comments. Let me know who you think I should be picking up for an upgrade. Uh, yeah, just I look at all of those, take everybody's thoughts into consideration, and then we make our final choice. So let me know who you guys think I should be picking up. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. I'd really appreciate that as well. Subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the new MLB The Show 18 stuff that I work pumping out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.